Hello folks, Manito here, I hope you're doing good. In this video I'll be showing you how to dump your game's ROMFS and EXEFS with NX Dump Tool. NX Dump Tool is a powerful Nintendo Switch dump tool <laughs> that backs up your physical and digital games, and it can even back up your game assets. If you're interested in making your own mods or ripping assets like textures, models, and music, this is a great place to start. Now before we begin, there's a few disclaimers and things to take note of. First, in this video, I'll be covering how to dump the ROMFS and EXEFS of your games. This is useful if you're interested in creating your own mods for games, as you'll get the assets such as textures, models, sounds, etc. If you're looking to back up your games as NXP and or XCI files, check out the first video of NX Dump Tool in the description. Next, you'll need a modded switch running Atmosphere Custom Firmware. If you don't have a modded switch, check out my noob friendly guide in the description on setting up Atmosphere Custom Firmware on Sysnant. It also goes over the basics of using Homebrew. The last thing is having NX Dump Tool already set up and your console keys backed up with Lockpick RCM. If you haven't done this yet, I have a section dedicated to this in my first NX Dump Tool video. Link in the description. And that's all you'll need before dumping your ROMFS. Before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay notified of future videos, streams, and to support the channel. I noticed most of you that watch these videos are sadly not subscribed, so please subscribe and help to build up the channel even more. Thank you for your continued support. I also have a growing community Discord server where you can join to talk with me and other members of the community. Now, I'll be breaking down how to dump your games ROMFS and EXEFS. Here we are at the main menu of NX Dump Tool. Now it's time to find and select the entry for the game you want. I'll be using Mario Kart 8 Deluxe again. Select NCA slash NCAFS Dump Options. If you're only interested in dumping the base game files, select Base Application. If you're interested in dumping the latest files from the latest update of the game, select Dump Update. For Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, dumping the update files includes the DLC courses, characters, and updated menu files. This is useful if you want data from the base version of a game, or if you only want data from an update. There's also a way to dump both of these at the same time, so that your dump includes the base game assets and any updated or new assets from update data. More on that in just a moment. I'll be selecting Base Application. In both the Base Application and Update sections, Program 0 is what you're looking for. And from here, select either FS1, EXEFS, or FS Section 2, ROMFS. Typically, you wouldn't need to dump EXEFS unless you need it for a specific reason. There is no reason to dump it in this guide, however, dump it if you need to. Select ROMFS. From here, we have a few options. You can browse the NCAFS section, which allows you to browse and dump specific game files and directories. Here you can see I'm in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe folders. Hacking into the mainframe. <laughs> no. If you use base slash patch title, you can dump both the base game files with updated or newly added files from the update data. If you only want data from the base game, select No. I'll be keeping it on the patch for the video. Make sure Write Raw Section is set to No. If you set Layered FS Directory to No, game assets will be dumped to NXDT, NCA, FS, User, Extracted. If it's set to Yes, game assets will be stored in Atmosphere, Contents, with assets in the folder named after the title ID of a game. The title ID of the game can be found right here, under Selected Title Info. If you're confused about the exact location, the app will tell you where your data has been saved after successfully going through the dumping process. 
Select Start NCAFS Section Dump to begin. Depending on the file size of your game, this could take a while. If you need to cancel for any reason, hold B. And it's done! Finally! Gosh, that took like half an hour. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> for you that took like, I don't know, 10 seconds. I'll speed up the footage, but man, that took a while. And you can see here it says successfully saved, extracted ROMFS section data to Atmosphere, Contents, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Title ID folder, ROMFS. Press any button to continue. And now that your game assets have been dumped, you can use them however you'd like. Mod creation, extracting music, it's up to you. If you're interested in making your own mods for your favorite Switch games, there are many guides available on Game Banana and YouTube. The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Game Banana page has a huge list of tutorials, and the same goes for other Switch games. A program I recommend using for extracting and importing various assets from dumped game files is Switch Toolbox by Kills X Gaming. It's a really powerful program that supports a lot of file types that Nintendo games use. Many texture guides you'll see for Switch games also have you use Switch Toolbox, so you're already one step ahead of them if you're getting this now. I won't be going over the setup in this video, but if you'd like to see that in a future video, let me know. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Kills X Gaming and all those credited here. This program means a lot to me because I used to use it a lot. I used to love dabbling with making texture mods for Mario Maker 2. If you've been following me for years, then you know what I'm talking about. And that is all for the video. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more content. Shout out to my channel members, thank you so much for your support, and thank you, yes you, for watching until the end. On the left you'll see a playlist for my Switch Mod tutorials, definitely recommend checking that out. And on the right, a video that YouTube recommends for you. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one, I think, hopefully. <laughs> thank you so much for your support, and if there's something you'd like to see me cover, drop a comment down below. Have a good day, good night, whatever time you're watching this, and God bless. See ya. Pax Christi.